Hey guys, welcome back. My name's Stu, and this is Burner Badlands for Roller Coaster Tycoon Classic, part 36 of the VJ scenario pack. This scorching desert that restricts removal of its nature and landscape is a great challenge to build a park. Your objective to have at least 3,000 guests in your park. You must not let the park rating drop below 700 at any time. So it says something about not allowing removal things okay and landscape okay so we can't do any of that let's have a look where have we got oh it's a big park it's not that hilly this looks kind of cool over here um the pardon does worry me slightly okay let's let's go through it free entry to the parks we're charging for rides we've got monorail cycles as the only transport rides we've got ferris wheel that's the only <laughs> only gentle ride we've got two coasters this the wild mouse will be handy because if we can't remove trees something like that will be very handy because it will allow um tight bends um splash boats that's cool because it'll allow big capacity get a lot of guests off the paths um bumper boats we have got a river so maybe we'll use them and not a lot of shops okay so not as bad as the last where is it not last but one that that one that was like leafy lake but with but with snow that was terrible but um nope don't want out shops we're going to put it into research into shops um this is fine the reason that was so terrible is because there was a time limit on there there was a sort of quite a high guest goal with a fairly unrealistic um time limit which is why we just used the advertiser but um this one this this will be fine honestly this will be fine so i've put my research into shops because we've got virtually no food yeah not a single food item so what would happen if we started building rides guests are going to start coming into the park and then they're going to pretty soon they're going to complain that they haven't got any food and they haven't got anything to drink so what we're going to do is we're just going to research shops and then whilst we're doing that guests will start coming into the park because it's already open we're going to simplify the path in a bit get rid of probably this loop and the rest of it and we'll just keep this loop maybe simplify it a bit as well stop get it's getting lost and stuck and then um we'll put shops down we'll put whatever we've got down we'll keep the prices cheap um and then what we'll do is we'll just keep running on fast forward i'll make sure i'm saving it periodically just in case we get any issues um but the plan is no real rides until we've got a decent selection of food and drink items october year one only 100 and something guests in the park that's fine that's all we want there's no time limit so as you can see the park rating is fine we do get i had that warning come up but then when i clicked on it there was no one in the in the park that was saying that so um they must have found their way out and gone so what happens is if you your rating drops below 700 you get a warning and then you've got four weeks then to correct it otherwise it'll close the park so we've got an ice cream corn stall um so that's cool so now we've got so we've got the we've got iced tea one tentacles two donuts three and the ice cream that's four so We've got our four types. So that means we aren't in danger. If we put that one down now, we aren't in danger of winning worst park food awards. You need at least four to make yourself not eligible for that. So, but I am gonna keep I am gonna keep researching um food until we've got a, a few more items. But um yeah, I think we can now start to build. Um not not too quickly but um i think yeah we can start to build now because we we've got enough that the guests aren't going to be whinging october 2 400 
and 80 guests in the park rating is fine let's have a look at that there you go you can see where we started building um so it wasn't that the rating was bad it's just you know the guests were a bit ambivalent it's like they didn't really care one way or the other but as soon as they start building rides and things they start getting happier so the rating goes up so i've got my mousetrap 4x4 design there um i did do a tutorial on this and also put this up on rct golf for download um so yeah i'm probably going to spam these maybe i don't know um because these are going to be really good only charging five pound for it i'll add the link to the description um in the video description for you and uh got some ferris wheels here so i've got an exit path just down there past the sphinx that i've just put down i've got the no entry signs because you see this guy that's stopping to look there or this this lady kathy p um what's going to happen is when she stops looking the moment she's looking at scenery when she stops she might walk back the wrong way so that's why i've got the no entry signs to make sure that she keeps walking down that way so there's a lot of them looking at it so the plan is just to put a couple there. i don't want to put too many but in, what might happen is you might get enough guests thinking wow great scenery and then you might win most beautiful park award because park awards do give you um a boost of guests so what i'm planning on doing is spamming some of these ferris wheels down here where the trees aren't um and then once i've got at least 10 of them i'll be eligible for best gentle rides and then just over here then we've got a splash boards so i've got two exits and two entrances um clearly the guests know which one is more exciting so i think i might rejig the end add an extra drop or something just to make this side a little bit better um but yeah again only charging five pound for that one i don't want to make too much money too quickly because i want to keep the guests in the park i want to keep them happy i want them going on the ride and thinking let's see what well let's see what they are thinking they're all thinking it was great a lot of people thinking great scenery some of them want to get off ferris wheel uh really clean and tidy and finished my tentacle yet okay title of your tip um yeah so we want them all thinking good value that sort of thing yeah so let's have a look now what are we researching thrill rides because they're quite small and there's lots of gaps in between the trees so we can put down some like three by three or four by four rides in the middle there and we can do something similar with what we did over here where we're sharing an exit but um yeah i don't see any problems so far we've got access to the splash boards which is going to be a great help because let's have a look at this one we have got currently 117 guests on the ride and which is a quarter of the park so that's pretty cool october for 2400 guests in the park so over this side everything's great we've built our path loop just down here we've we've got some bumper boats just down there we've already got i mean these count as water rides so we didn't need to put all six down don't think to make us eligible for best water rides but just in case and oh, i need to sort my handyman out there um and then just up here we unlocked the reverse free fall so i've got a couple of those they're quite handy because they only fit into one tile um off there I, i'm coloring them all in the garish color schemes or the what's the what's the title of the award um dazzling color scheme colors which is this green this pink this purple or this orange um I don't think you haven't got to color the whole thing in. I think it's just this middle, middle part by here. Um, but having said that, I haven't done the 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 jolly boats. So, oh well, um, we we won't we won't struggle anyway. And then we've got a little corkscrew just down here. Launch into a corkscrew and then up and then back. And then we've got a multi-dimensional course to here. I've got this tutorial in the tutorial section. Um, so it doesn't do. A, it's set to complete circuit because you can't set them to shuttle mode but then what i've got it done is i've got uh, it set to seven laps you probably don't need to do all seven um 
and then um, it just goes back and forth and back and forth. And eventually it builds up enough speed that it hits the half loop. So this top piece here and this bit here are both half loops. So as soon as it hits that bit, it counts as an inversion. And then you get the good stats. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to carry on building down. You've got another wild mouse just there actually made an effort with the design this time um what have we got what have we got we've got hmm. that would be easy to build and then unlock it we'll wait and see we'll wait and see but um, oh i tell you what i didn't show you this huge jolly boats over here so um jolly boats is just what i call i call them you know everyone else in the world calls them splash boats or or shoot the shoots so yeah um my little up and down trick in order to get the average speed up so one day maybe i'll have a look at um trying to find an, an optimized design to see um just how how long we can get the track in such a, in a really short distance but uh yeah so nice long queue let's have a look how many are on this one 450 guests on the ride another 164 in the queue so that's 600 guests that's, again a quarter of the park is tied up on this ride and um, how long are they waiting only six minutes that's fine that's fine they'll be happy with that um any longer you could drop an entertainer in the queue but um yeah absolutely fine so um i think what we're going to do is just carry on doing what we've been doing um hopefully some better coasters will unlock that we can do some similar shuttle designs and uh yeah we'll be fine october 5 2969 guests in the park we need another 30 guests and we've got the green arrow so we should be fine we've unlocked giga coasters so i've got a few of those down um very simple designs again um i've just got them on multi-laps so this one's got a booster that'll enable it to eventually get fast enough to go around um i've um, reduced the prices of some of these rides so that's a pound um all the ferris wheels are free because i want to keep them in the park got some more four by four designs there we've got two giga coasters just there um i was going to do them the same design but then i realized i'd um i put them in the wrong place and I, I couldn't be bothered to move it so i just did this stupid design on the second one um but yeah they're all happy So this yeah it's just probably don't need seven laps but you know they're happy enough it registers as seven drops with a highest drop height of 59 feet so yeah they're more than happy to be going on that um 10 more guests got another splash boats just there another jolly boat sorry shorter design than some of the others um another one there as well this isn't the optimized design i was talking about um for that what i would do is i would have the station up at the top and then so the guests get on and they're immediately at a drop um and then an exit at the bottom and we've done it Stoo! cool honestly this one you could easily come unstuck with this one if you were to jump in and start building straight away i think you would come unstuck and guests you'd get so many guests coming in and they'd all start complaining and whinging and moaning and then before you know it you're going to be struggling but the way i did it where i waited until we had a decent amount of shops first before opening is i think the right way of doing it um and yeah and we did it and we we didn't have any issues at all um i know it's year six but we spent the majority of the first two years not really doing anything so yeah this was 
this was a decent scenario. Yeah, it, it was good. It was a, a good change from the normal. Um, it made us work. It made us think about things. But the way we approached it, I know I made it look easy, but um, yeah, I, I could see a lot of people coming unstuck with this. So this was Burner Badlands part 36, I believe, for the VJ scenario pack. We are in the thick of it now. We're on the expert levels. Um, so yeah, hopefully they'll all be at least as good as this. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.